Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Jimmy. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today we're talking about a question that I got that has spurred a lot of uh, cool ideas for me and I want to share with you guys. Jacob York asks, if I shoot a raw picture, can I choose different resolutions? And the short answer to this question is no, you can't. Because raw, as I've been known to say, is raw. Raw is raw. When you shoot in that setting, when you choose RAW, you're telling the camera to take in as much information as possible. And the reason why you're doing that is so you can cut it up and heighten, darken, change things up, and totally manipulate it into a JPEG processed file later. RAW files are unprocessed, untouched, usually lackluster and weird looking and just dim in appearance, and JPEGs are processed, edited, and sharp and shiny looking. So. JPEGs are the ones that can be adjusted in different resolutions, different um, image qualities, different sizes, because JPEGs are processed. RAWs are unprocessed. RAWs are also three to four times bigger than JPEGs ever need to be. Um, so when you give your friends images to look at, don't give them the RAW files. It doesn't mean you're giving them a better viewing experience. It's not even processed, okay? They're too big and generally sometimes people's computers can't even look at them. Although people now can, I think with technology these days, but they won't be able to understand why the picture is so big, why it's so slow to load. If you want to adjust certain things like resolutions in the camera, you don't pick RAW. You pick JPEG. Although there isn't really a setting, I want to pick JPEG. It's either RAW and you select RAW or it's not RAW and it's JPEG right off the bat. Does that make sense? Let's get into that right now. Let's go ahead and turn on the camera here and press the menu OK. You'll see here in the first folder there's image size and image quality. Under image quality I have the letter F, right? And if it doesn't say RAW, it means you're not in RAW. And if you're not in RAW, it means you're shooting in a compressed edited file, which is JPEG. So I'm going to press the down arrow go to the right and you can choose between one of these and you can go fine JPEG, normal JPEG, fine JPEG plus raw formats, normal JPEGs and raw or just raw. If I'm shooting for a client, I will use raw because I want the most information as possible because I may need to edit it later on my computer. In fact, I will most definitely need to edit it because if you look at a raw picture, generally it's very lackluster and dim and uninspiring because it's not edited, right? So if you go to fine here, this is great for shooting casually or even shooting seriously. You get really great edited pictures in your camera that you can adjust with black and white filters, lots of fun, cool stuff that comes on these cameras nowadays, okay? I don't choose normal because I, if I'm gonna shoot in JPEG, I might as well get the most information and clarity as possible, um, especially when you're shooting in the final format, which is JPEG. I don't use fine plus raw. I don't use normal plus raw, which is a JPEG and a raw. You're doubling in files. It takes up more space in your card, needlessly so in my opinion. There are reasons to shoot in those, but I personally don't do it. If I'm shooting in these, not only does it take up a lot more card space, but it's more overwhelming when I just need to get through the pictures for my client. I'm getting literally double of everything as I review them, so I don't want to deal with that. I'm going to choose RAW for now, press menu OK, and look what happens. Image quality now says RAW, but image size is grayed out. I can't adjust it. Image quality is RAW, but the image size is RAW. It's just the biggest, the most information as possible. If I want to have JPEGs or non-RAW formats, press the right arrow again under image quality and go to fine. Now I've chosen that, it's back to F. Look at image size, I can adjust that again. I'm gonna press the up arrow, press the right arrow to look at all these ratios that are now available to me. I can choose small formats, medium formats, or large formats, different ratios that I see fit. I'll usually choose this one, 16 by nine. And when I take a picture now, it will give me this JPEG. Do I edit JPEGs? Sometimes, and uh, you don't want to edit them too much. 
If you really want to edit heavy into pictures, shoot them in RAW to begin with. Now, you can adjust further here with the film simulation. Remember, we're in JPEG now, but I'm going to go into the quick menu here. The Q menu allows me to look at a few things all at once. I'm going to press the down arrow here. You see those ratios? That's right there. If I'm in RAW, this won't be there. This will just say RAW, and this will say RAW as well. But because I'm shooting in not RAW, or JPEG, I can adjust these as well as this. This is really fun. The film simulation, right? I can use this uh, this rotating knob here and I can just black and white, standard, chrome, uh, Velvia, whatever it may be, sepia. And then I can go to the sharpness, shadow tone, highlight tone, and adjust further from there. Again, I'm editing the picture in JPEG here. The RAW is being processed into a JPEG and spits out the nice polished photo that you can share with your friends and family right away. If you're shooting in RAW, this will say RAW, and you'll have to edit that later in camera, on your phone, on your computer, whatever it may be. I hope this helps you guys. The next video, I will explain how to edit the RAW in your camera. Bye-bye.